Canada is renowned for its world-class education system and its welcoming environment for international students. So in this video, we are going to cover the top fields of study that have highest approval rate based on our experience with handling students here in Canada. We'll cover everything from schools, programs, and provinces, so join us as we navigate the exciting world of education in Canada. Hi, my name is Coach MC and welcome back to our channel where we offer an easy to follow actionable guide towards your Canadian dream. We know that your journey to study abroad is overwhelming and that is why we're here to help you on every step of the way. From program selection to province selection, we got you covered. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do that now so you don't miss any update. So in this video, I will bring you the latest information on the fields with highest approval rate. This is based on the recent report that we got in SLE as we got 95% approval rate. As an international student, choosing the right field or program can be crucial when it comes to securing your visa and become a successful professional here in Canada. So are you excited? Make sure to smash that like button and let's begin. First in our list would be the computer science and information technology. The tech industry in Canada is rapidly growing and therefore they have a high demand for this professional working in these fields. Some of the well-known tech companies in Canada would be Shopify, Microsoft, Google, Blackberry Open Text, and there has been a big shift into artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing. So, if you are going to take a program in information technology, take a specialization such as the Artificial Intelligence Graduate Certificate at Algonquin College. There is a Business Information System at Saskatchewan Polytechnic, and if you are beginner, you can take a diploma at Commerson College where you can take the information and computer system. Next one is the engineering and natural science. The engineering sector in Canada is rapidly and constantly evolving and they also wanted to focus on sustainability and renewable energy. So apart from civil or mechanical engineering, the natural science is also growing. There is a high demand for professionals working in environmental science, conservation, and the forestry. If you're looking at these programs, you can check out Norquest College. They have energy management. There is another program that you can find at Coast Mountain College, and that would be the post degree at Applied Coastal Ecology. And if you wanted to explore another program, there is the program for seafarers, and that would be the electrical technology that is concentrated concentration in marine and industrial engineer by the way guys our beta version of our app is launching soon so if you want to be our first user you'll have the access to our mentors program search features and also our free visa planner so don't miss out this incredible opportunity that will help you simplify your process in your study abroad journey our next one is business and in business you need need to choose the right concentration. So in Canada, there is a strong and diverse business sectors with an opportunity for entrepreneurs and professionals in areas such as finance, marketing, and as well as supply chain. But e-commerce and digital marketing are the thriving industries because of the rise of online shopping and social media. So if you want to check out some programs in supply chain, you can check out Quantland Polytechnic University. University. There is a program in Niagara College for international business management and there is one for marketing that you can find at Commerson College which is the post degree in business marketing. And if you want to focus on accounting and finance, you can check out 
our newly partnered school and that is the University of Lethbridge. Next one is for our healthcare professionals and you want to choose Canada if you want to study abroad because Canada's healthcare industry is one of the largest in advance in the world and they wanted to focus on the biotechnology, more on the research side and right now they have greater focus on mental health as well. So if you want to check out some programs in healthcare, you can check out the healthcare management at Cape Breton University. There is one at Sioux College if you want to focus on nursing, gerontology, and let's say you want to step onto the diploma program you can check the practical nursing at College of New Caledonia and if you want to work as a personal support worker let's say you were working as a caregiver then you can check out the personal support worker at Lethbridge College. So check out these uh, schools and if you need help, you can always reach out to us, SLE. So in Canada, education is free from primary to secondary. There are also tradition in community involvement. And therefore, there is a high demand for professionals working in community service, such as service worker, counseling and education if you wanted to pursue this field then you can check out vancouver university and they have a master's degree in sped or educational leadership you can also check out their early childhood education at norquest college in alberta and if you wanted to work in uh, social service you can check out the social service worker diploma at Northern College or Confederation College in Northern Ontario. And as you know guys, if you've been following me for a while now here on YouTube and in TikTok, you can see how beautiful it is here. They just have an amazing scenery here in Canada and therefore they have a thriving industry in hospitality and tourism. And in the recent years, they want to focus on ecotourism or sustainable travel options. So if you want to check out the hospitality and tourism programs in Canada, you can check out the North Island College and they have a post degree in tourism. So that will be in, in our area here on Vancouver Island. And if you want to check out the post degree in tourism management in Prince George or if you want to uh, check out the Commerson College they have a post degree in tourism as well and uh, British Columbia is definitely one of the provinces that I will recommend for hospitality and tourism. And also, if you have passion in culinary, they have a diploma, they also have post degree in culinary, there is a culinary arts or culinary management, like you can check out different schools here in BC and Alberta and as well as Ontario. So you have many options here, guys. It is important to take note in this video that the industry in Canada is changing. So make sure that you are up to date. While the study permit approval is high for these fields, it is still important to choose the program that you wanted to pursue here in Canada. By the way, guys, we are having an event in-person event here in British Columbia. So if you're living in Vancouver, Victoria, like here in BC, if you want to meet with us, with Rachel, Max, and other international students here in BC, if you want to hear our story, their story, and just have fun and have some food, please join us. And this will be this coming end of the month may 27 and i will leave the details below and register now because we only have limited slots so make sure that you sign up today and i'm excited to see you guys in person thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to visit our beta version app and also our website steadylivexplorca.com so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll be talking about in the next video would be the business programs that you should take here in Canada. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.